Hi, this is Kate from the Scrapyard, and this is my entry for Tanya Gibbs' um, Subby Giveaway. Uh, first off, I'd like to say that this canvas was inspired by Tanya Gibbs' Psycho Moms um, from her, her grunge canvas that she had a video on. And I, I just think that Tanya has inspired me with a lot of her videos and projects because they're just my style, and I love them. Um, all sorts of things that she, like all certain, all different styles that she's made, shabby chic, grunge, vintage, she does them all really wonderfully, and it's just an inspiration to me to want to try and create other styles and other things. So, um, let me get started. This is, I'm filming this in my kitchen, so, <laughs> sorry about the background. Um, the lindies that I used for this project were Rhododendron Red Rose, Moon Shadow Buccaneer Bay Blue, and my very favorite, Jack in the Pulpit Teal. And um, I started out with this canvas. I painted it a wheat color. I went over it in certain areas with red crackle paint, as you can see. And then um, on top of that, well, then I went around the edges with tissue tape. And then I used all three of my colors of Lindy's to spray the background, and it, it gave it um, a shimmer. I don't even think you can see it in the lighting in here. But um, and then I took, the, since this is grunge, this is a lot of Tim's stuff in it, which was so fun because I've never attempted anything grunge before. And like I said, after seeing Tanya's video, I so wanted to create something grungy. So I took the Lost and Found paper collection, put it up here, put it down here, used it to make the shadow boxes here. And um, as you can see, the shadow boxes right there. And then um, I used some of Tim's rosettes trim, and that was done in the Buccaneer Bay Blue by Lindy's. And an added ticket, a memo pin. I did some silver embossing on the back of the canvas all over and um, then I did I have this key here from Tattered Angels I have a foliage of yeah metal foliage on her hair uh, let's see this first box here has some really pretty prima lace um, these pieces were crackled with um, rock candy, and then I went over them in distress to, dis to make them old. I have a butterfly, a bottle with some ink, an ornate plate with a ticket inside, a bingo card in the back. Over here in this shadow box, I have a, a little figurine doll by Tim Holtz. Well, I, I took the Tim Holtz figurine and I made a clay mold of it. And since it was really white, I just um, went over in the rock candy crackle paint, and then I uh, distressed it to make it kind of grungy. A bottle cap here. This was done in Lindy's in the red. This was done in the teal. Um, paper from the collection made some roses. Um, some more foliage. And this says, it's a mem a two holds memo, or I don't know what it's called. Philosophy tag, I think. It says imagine. Over here, I have a tag that I crackled again, and these are Tim Holtz, a gear, and a pin, a pin I'm not sure what that's called, a tattered florals die by Tim Holtz, I have some um, tool in there, and this has been glimmer, or this has been misted in all three of those ladies' colors that I showed, and that is about it. I'm planning on hanging this in my living room, or my dining room, actually, and so, anyway, it was a really fun project to make, and I just want to thank Tanya for inspiring me, and for having this wonderful giveaway, so, thank you for watching.